Today I'm going to show you what it's like to run Augment OS on your Vuzix Z100 and Mentra Mach 1 smart glasses. Today I'm joined by Manny, the mannequin, who has a camera in his eye, which is going to help us understand what it's like to look through the lens of a pair of smart glasses running Augment OS. You can check out our other video where I show you how to install and set up Augment OS. Right now we've already got it installed and I'm going to show you what it's like to use it. So let's get started. First off, you're going to want to open up the Vuzix Connect app. That's going to connect to your smart glasses, as you can see. And then we're going to open up the Augment OS Manager app, which boots up Augment OS. I'll just hit Connect Glasses, choose the pair of glasses that I want to connect to. It'll search for them and then connect. It gives me my battery information. Why don't I run an app real quick, like Live Captions? This is our Live Captions application. It's incredibly useful for people who are deaf and hard of hearing because it gives them high speed, high accuracy captions overlaid on their vision at all times. Ours are actually the best captions for the deaf because they're the fastest, the most accurate, and they're completely free with Augment OS. Let's check out another app like Translation. If I just hold the app, then the settings come up and I can choose any language that I want to translate from and any language I want to translate to. Let's go Chinese into English. You can hear a little bit of my broken Chinese. Starting translation. Ni hao, ni hao, wo jiao kai deng, wo shi jian de ren. Ni ke yi ming bai wo ma? Ni ke yi ming bai wo ma? Ru guo ni wen wen wo, ru guo wo ke yi shuo zhong wen. Wo yao shuo bu hao, bu hui. Ke shi 我每天学习中文, 所以我的中文越来越好. And the glasses can listen to my broken Chinese and translate it live into English overlaid on your vision. Now, let's take a quick look at what it's like to get a notification overlaid on your smart glasses. If somebody shoots me a text, why don't I switch to my computer, shoot myself a text so you can see what it's like. I just hit send to myself. And you can see the notification pop up overlaid on your vision. This is super useful to help you kind of stay connected while you're hands free or mobile or doing something where you just don't want to take out your phone. Finally, there's one more thing that I want to show you. We have a whole bunch of applications, proactive AI, which you've seen in a lot of my other demo videos and are available in Augment OS. But there's something that I think is really cool. It's the contextual dashboard. If you just double tap, on the side of the glasses, you can access a heads up display dashboard that has everything that you need to stay connected. And AI reads your notifications and it picks out the most important things and then summarizes them and shows them to you. So let me double tap these glasses so you can see what I mean. There you go. The contextual dashboard has popped up on the vision showing all the information that you might need and a summary of the text messages that I have showing up and even calendar information about the next event that's happening for me. And I can just turn it off with another double tap on the side and it disappears. That's a quick overview of using Augment OS on your Vuzix Z100 smart glasses and Mentra Mach 1 smart glasses. And that's just a tiny taste. These are just a couple of the utility functions we have built in. We have multiple AI applications, which you can download today. And I'm very excited about the fact that we have many developers and companies that are currently building applications on top of Augment OS. We expect over the course of the next couple months to see dozens of new applications come out on the Augment OS store. So definitely, if you don't already have a pair of Mentra Mach 1s or Vuzix Z100s, you should go get yourself a pair immediately. And if you do, you should download Augment OS. And great news, we are now doing a new cloud infrastructure that's going to unlock iOS support. So iOS is going to be dropping in March. The possibilities are endless when you're running proactive AI on your smart glasses. I'll see you in the future.